for today's cup of coffee, we have a really cool story. What is it? This is from Mirror and is by Lauren Cole Lomas and Black Malika. Mirror? No, Malika <laughs> Kozik. And this was January the 9th of 2023. An ex crime scene investigator has taken to making very creepy dollhouses with depictions of blood spattered rooms. Hell yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. I think I've seen that before. Uh-huh. That's shit I would do. Yep. Y'all called me. Y- y'all thought I was disturbed as a kid when I would do that shit no, with that my was, dolls. That was the Barbie dolls no, 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 and no, no, stuff no, like no. that. And when you were burying them up to their heads, that did distress me. You were in elementary school. The Muppets. The sand. Sand to the neck. Okay. Kokomo. Okay. Way down in Kokomo. Jamaica. Okay. Ooh, I wanna take <laughs> when I found the one in the freezer mama, that had the rubber bands mama, all the way up her body, yes, I was disturbed. That was when I started praying, please, God, don't let him be the next Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm not. And no, you're not. You're a good kid. Anyhow, this but lady. Thought I was disturbed, and I would like. <laughs> I was just a weird, horror it's obsessed okay. kid it's from okay. the get go. And she says that despite the work not being everyone's taste, it is to her, her art is cathartic in some respects. Yeah. And Maria O'Brien, who now works for the Police Care UK charity, revamps unloved dollhouses and creates dystopian diorama scenes of abandoned asylums and witches' covens, rather, and that report is from Surrey Live. Now, now, see, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Rather, like, saving something from being possibly, like, trashed or right. whatever. And, and making art out of it, yeah. basically. Yeah, that's what she's doing. And I Maria, love that. Maria says that her handmade miniature creations and figures bring uh, her a form of mindfulness despite creating grubby and creepy looking homes and that's beauties in the eye of the beholder on that she yeah. looks for ways to bring her true crime ideas to life and in doing so de- uh, gives them a lot of detail and takes a while to plan them right down to making sure the miniature bathroom fixtures are rusted the right amount all the way to yeah. the blood sp- bladder in the mortuary i've watched videos of people making like miniatures miniature dioramas and mm-hmm. stuff like that literally sometimes it takes them years to finish one yeah that is not and it's like something oh my god ADHD. the detail in yeah. it yeah it says that after leaving the police force just before covid lockdown maria and her partner toyed with the idea of moving and renovated a hot house But after deciding to stay in their place, she came up with the idea of using her creative skills in a totally different way. And she said, quote, my colleague's mom was downsizing and had an old dollhouse, and I thought I would have a go and went on to buy several dollhouses. The abandoned asylum, which is a creation of hers, was originally a house partly made of wood and metal. It was in my loft for a while, and when I brought it downstairs, my partner said that it looked like an old asylum, end quote. Maria has often sent other requests, too, some of which are not as gory. And they can range from a miniature modern-day gym, complete with bike, TV screen, and weights. That's the only one that's normal. The next yeah. one, they, the, I mean, that's, that's the, just... What's creepy about that? That's well, nothing. The next one that they mentioned was a recreation of Buffalo Bill's basement from Silence of the Lambs. Yes! Yes! I was what, dude, I was that kid that was wanting to fucking recreate, like, saw traps for the Barbies. I wanted to put my Barbies through the saw games. Well, she has this basement complete with bloodied handcuffs and a skin suit. Oh, that's so cool. Oh God, he's, he's encouraged. Oh, and my inner child is happy. Speaking on the reactions Maria got from her macabre work in the beginning, she said, quote, I recognize that this is a niche. I accept that for the first time I put something out there, it got unusual comments. But a friend said to me, "If it's not art if it doesn't invoke emotion. And it could be one in a million comments that are negative. For me, this is a form of mindfulness. I realize people think that's really dark, but I'm like, 
Is it? I think that my policing career influences my work, where I saw murders and attended traumatic incidents. It's cathartic in some respects. You go from attending a burglary, which is traumatic for the family and managing emotions for families, Mm -hmm. so they put their lives back together, to more complex events like murders. It's challenging. Research shows one in five police personnel have PTSD and one in ten are walking around with untreated complex PTSD. At Police Care, we got to pioneer a brand new technique to help people recover from uh, it's C PTSD, which is the complex PTSD. End quote. Yeah, we got a cat downstairs right now that That's, has PTSD. It's all right. As an avid photographer, Maria is also inspired by urbex photography, creating eerie images of decaying derelict structures and buildings and discarded items she finds while out and walking her dog. Maria explains, quote, I recycle and reuse lots of items I come across while walking with my dog. For example, the shower room in the abandoned asylum has a toilet made from the lid of a perfume bottle. One of my pieces is made from an old wine box. It is a mini witch's apothecary cabinet. I love mystical and mythical things like the Wednesday Addams Netflix show. In quote, which Maria oh, that's is a plug. That's an advertisement well, right there. Which Maria is making a dollhouse of the school featured in the show. And she further states, quote, I've designed the stage from the theater in New York City called CBGB and would love to do the bathroom. It was really <laughs> grubby. I'm a fan of the a big punk venue that was huge during the 70s and 80s. I did once go to the Chelsea Hotel where historical writers and artists used to live, yep. where Sid Vicious's girlfriend Nancy died. Speaking about her, end quote on that, speaking about her future projects, Maria said, quote, Next, I'm making a themed haunted house for a lady who has jumping spiders. They are so pretty and make really good pets. I would argue with that. I usually, I've seen videos. They're, they're cute. I usually have to have different projects on the go because each project needs time to set. For example, the wallpaper needs to dry before you put the skirting boards on. Then you have to cut the carpet and fit the skirting boards and build the beds from scratch. You're anyway. literally building a miniature house. Yeah. From scratch on most of the time. Yeah. <clears throat> And I did not include pictures, and the link will be in the description box to the article, because I didn't think that the pictures that they had used in the article did justice to her work. They never do. They never do. I think some of those things you have to see in person Mm -hmm. to truly appreciate the, the tiny details. Either that or the artist has to photograph, like, Photograph, photograph it. it yeah well the lighting that they did on like i said the the photographs in the article it's not good not good at all and it was just very dark and not in a happy way it was nothing <clears throat> that you know highlighted what she had created yeah but i applaud her well that's good but yeah, you, if you want to be inspired and do something like that, you have at I've it, baby. I've always wanted to make dioramas. I wanted to make like a hedge maze diorama one, mm-hmm. once upon a time. They ain't nothing stopping you. They ain't nothing stopping you. Yeah. Budget, that's that's what stops me. Well, I think what happens, a lot of people have a tendency to shoot themselves in the foot before they get started. And it's like, I don't have this and I don't have that. No, work with what you got. Yeah. Yeah. We have got a whole lot of scrap wood and stuff out there in the building that you, and we got a hammer, we got nails. That's true. We have duct tape, we have glue. That's true. So there you go. And we have paint. We have a copious amount of, you know, paints. Yeah. Variety of kind. Oh, yeah. So that's, that might be a good project for you. Yeah. Because I know it's hard for you being in the house. I think it's hard for anybody being trapped in the house. Unless you're like I am that's that is nerd and reads most of the day. Yeah. So but anyhow, if this has inspired any of you out there and you make one of these, you know, little doll houses, the creepy whatever, email us a picture and we will share that with the others here on our video. Yeah. 
that they're so cool seriously do some research on them like watch a lot yeah. of videos watch the videos of as of people like making like dolls or doing the doll customizing sure some of them not all of them you'll know the uh, good artists when you see them but yeah they're I mean, usually the most popular ones but and and if they want to make like a miniature video we'll include it in our video yeah that would be cool oh yeah that would be way cool that would be so i thought it was pretty neat yeah i think it is so any final thoughts on this one i that that was pretty much it like you just I got excited just about awesome. this yeah one. yeah because i love that yeah well i think it's something it's that like you're making a miniature world dude yeah your own that's like the book nooks yeah yeah i like book nooks mm-hmm there's fairy doors, fairy gardens. Sure, sure. There's that's something that people, as far as being bored, and I used to hear that when I was working with kids. Oh, I'm bored. Uh, no, you're just lazy. <laughs> you, it's a matter of being creative. Find something that would, you know, make you not bored. Yeah. And that was always a cool thing to help a kid figure out what their interests were, what they could do. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell you, mm -mm, no, I don't want to hear that. I don't have this and that and the other. Yeah, there's been people that have created masterpieces that have lasted for hundreds of years that did not have the whatever. They did what they could with what they had. Yeah. Some of them invented new ways of doing things. Paints and different things like that. Yeah. Paint did not was not an easy thing. It wasn't like you could go to Walmart and buy a tube. That's true. Back during the Renaissance. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes, I don't. I don't. Excuses don't work with me. <laughs> that was an excuse. So, that was your final thoughts. Yeah, I'm good. All yeah, right. I'm good now. If you've had experiences oh. with the paranormal oh. supernatural the, oh. encounters with ufos aliens cryptids oh and we're serious about it. if you've created something and you want to share a photo Art, that we could share videos. with other people or a video or something like that we'll definitely include that since i know that i can do the videos and stuff now as long as i've got permission that's the only thing i ask is you know if you allow me to share a you know a photo that you've sent or a video i want written permission in the email yeah and that's just to protect my ass legally because i cannot afford the attorneys and stuff we could go and get the ai attorney the app ai attorney app that's what we need i think we're good <laughs> have you ever read what's in our description box have you ever read it yeah <laughs> Have you read it thoroughly? It's have, got have you read the community there. guidelines thoroughly? No, but like it, it, not even YouTube has read their own guidelines you thoroughly. You know what? I think at one point I actually did read the whole thing. I really did. Seriously though, YouTube is so fucked up. Yeah, like it's and, sad. and it's not even our faults. It's theirs. Well, yeah, and I think that one of the, the reasons that we can get by with so a lot of good. stuff, we're good, is because that the AI doesn't speak mountain, <laughs> and they don't know how to translate it. It's they like, don't know what, what we're saying. saying, right? Right, because there's no way that that we could put you know subtitles or anything on this. Google would... doesn't even understand Dad, <laughs> and he speaks pretty you know he his accent is nowhere near as thick as mine is no of so, course then again that was that was an old phone so i can't say that now the good the, this new phone the good phone he got, never did he got that good phone yeah well that's a good thing my phone never he, did i gave up on it and it was all right it works for me that's because you got that st stupid bixby nobody likes bixby <laughs> I just turned it off. Everybody, it hate, me. everybody hates Bixby. Yeah, it just annoyed me, so I turned it off. Bixby's that, that autistic child you shove up in the attic in the 1800s. <laughs> in the 1800s? Yes. What was that called? It's something of the room. <laughs> we watched a movie about that. It was something at the something room. No, it was just... Th For the children that they did. That was a horrible, horrible thing. Of yeah. course, humanity has a 
long history of doing horrible, horrible things, but also wondrous things, going back to the art of the Renaissance. Wind on a positive note. <laughs> the email is I'm cup possibly of coffee. autistic, so I can say that. You've got the horrible ADHD, and your medication needs to be up. Anyhow, cup of coffee with scream, gmail.com. It's in the description box Mm -hmm. the link to the article in the description box you can go on there and see the the photographs that they have of this lady's work but like i said they were disappointing which is why i didn't even bother to put them here in the video yeah so all right sounds good if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and most of all subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads thank you all and have a good And we'll see you on the next cup. Know that you're loved. Bye. Bye.